Welcome. Through a practical example, we will examine how SAP Global Trade Services can help you stay compliant when exporting ETAR regulated goods and services. Before we kick off, let's look at the benefits provided through the use of Global Trade Services. It helps you document reasonable care with the ETAR regulations. You avoid hefty fines due to unintended violations. And you will remain in good standing with authorities and avoid being barred from future exports. Before we look at our practical example, we need to cover some important keywords. The International Traffic and Arms Regulations is the U.S. regulation requiring that companies that manufacture, sell, or distribute defense articles or services, must comply with the regulations as defined in the United States Munitions List. These regulations affect every company in a supply chain responsible for assisting in the production and delivery of impacted defense articles or services. ETAR covers all defense articles and services, while ER covers commercial and dual-use items and technologies. You will find ETAR covered items on the United States Munitions List while ER items are listed on Commercial Control List. Items that are listed on the CCL are organized according to alphanumeric designations called Export Control Classification Numbers. An export license is a government document that authorizes or grants permission to conduct a specific export transaction. Export licenses are issued by the appropriate licensing agency after a careful review of the facts surrounding the given export transaction. From an ETAR perspective, a manufacturing license agreement is a type of license required for defense services, if technical data is given or used to perform the defense services. This license allows for the manufacturing of U.S. defense articles by a foreign person abroad. It's time to look at our example. Our company, based in the U.S., has a subsidiary in Germany. Our company wants to export trucks, parts and documentation to its subsidiary in Germany for manufacturing overseas. To do so, our company must register with the appropriate governmental agencies. It needs to apply for the Manufacturing License Agreement and the DSP-5 Export License from the Directorate of Defense Trade Controls. The approved agreement and the license must be registered in GTS and kept secure for future bookkeeping and documentation. With the paperwork in place, our company is ready to export to its subsidiary abroad. For the first item, the military truck, we will create a sales order, a subsequent delivery document and finally, a billing document. We will do the same for the second item, the spare parts. For the documentation, no delivery and billing document is needed. In GTS, compliance checks are performed upon creation of sales orders and deliveries. The export declaration is created when a billing document, for instance, a performa invoice, is generated. For things to work correctly, master data is critical. As a starter, ETAR controlled materials need to be appropriately classified. We check that all three of our materials have been classified according to the USML nomenclature. For transactions not to be blocked, relevant licenses also need to be registered. A quick look at the DSP-5 export license shows us that we have an active license for the military truck. Our license has both value and quantity limitations that we need to adhere to. The license is linked to the correct control class, 7C. It is only valid for exports to Germany. A quick look at the manufacturing license agreement shows that it's valid and applies to all three material numbers used in our scenario. Like the export license, it's only valid for Germany, and even more specifically, for one business partner only, our subsidiary. We can also see that it's connected to the export license for the truck and a separate license for the parts. First, we create a sales order for two military trucks for Germany. We subsequently create the corresponding outbound delivery document. Finally, we then create the billing document, a performa invoice. It's time to have a look into export control. We open the existing document, export control app. We can see how GTS has created a complete log of the screening and control process. The proper license has been found and depreciated. Our transaction comes out green. From the same app, we can jump to the export declaration. The export declaration can preferably be accessed through the Display Outbound Activities, Export app. We search for all declarations created today, and we find the one related to our sales orders. Information from ERP forms the basis for the declaration. 
In addition, SAP GTS produced the relevant documents needed for a quick and trouble-free export clearance from customs. GTS provides an easily accessible audit trail and secures consistency between different internal processes. We repeat the process by creating a new sales order, this time for the spare parts. We create the outbound delivery document. And then the Proforma invoice. A quick look at the export control log shows us that the proper license has been determined and depreciated. An export declaration has also been created, with all relevant documentation, qualifying us for a fast release for export from the authorities. We will also create a sales order for the export of the documentation. There will be no subsequent outbound delivery or billing. The transaction will still be subject to export control. A quick look in the export control log confirms this. Before we end our demo, we will revisit the manufacturing license agreement. We will quickly look at assigned documents. The system provides a complete audit trail back to relevant business documents under the agreement. We also make a short revisit to the export license. Even here, we can see assigned transactional documents that consume and depreciate the export license. The functionality shown in this video is available in SAP Global Trade Services connected to S4 HANA Enterprise Management or SAP ERP. Let's recap the benefits provided through the use of Global Trade Services. It helps you document reasonable care with the ETAR regulations. You avoid hefty fines due to unintended violations. And you will remain in good standing with authorities and avoid being barred from future exports. The views, Information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer, or any other group or individual. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this are coming shortly. See you then.